What will you be most proud of when you're laying on your deathbed? Well, definitely right now you're going to say, uh, I'm really proud of this big trophy I just will not squeak. Or, I'm really proud of my awards from this really, really important competition. Or you can say, I'm really proud of my kids and my grandkids and my parents. Well, what about the question, what will you regret most when you're lying on your deathbed? Definitely you're going to say something like, I regret the times that I've done really stupid thing, really dorky thing. That is what you're gonna say right now, right? In when you're young. But when you're actually lying on your deathbed, you will definitely say something like this. I regret the time when I did not enter that really good company because I did not have enough skills, etc. We regret what we didn't do, because I never feel embarrassed because of the things I didn't do. Last year, my friend told me that her grandmother is going to die in three days. The next day, she told me that her grandmother is well. Today, her grandmother is living very good, and she is fighting for those who also have cancer. My friend started boasting that her grandmother outrun death because she lived longer. Well, is that true? My friend... Let me tell you something. We do not outrun death by living longer. We outrun death by living well. Because if you do nothing in your lifetime, it doesn't really matter, right? The only thing that we can do is try to do everything that we want to do while the reaper is still away. Because when he appears, we have no time left. We have no time left to do what we want, right? Enjoy every moment is the only way to survive internally. I once read a saying when I was younger that goes something like this. Uh, if you live every day as if it was your last, one day it would definitely will. From that day on, I start opening my bathroom door every morning and look at me in the mirror and start telling myself, Hello me. If... Today was the last day I die, would I be doing what I'm about to do? Or would I do something else? That way you will stop escaping the mindset trap that you still have something to lose. Why? Because you're already naked. There's no reason why you should not follow your heart. Don't give up on discovering your passion. Why? Because if purpose is the reason you journey, passion is the light that shows you the path. You, some of you may have already discovered it, some of you may found it in your 20s or 30s or maybe even 70s, but don't give up on finding it. I really want to emphasize to other people and youngsters that those who claims that he can and he cannot is both usually right and you must be aware that as you move through time there's definitely going to time where there's difficulty and you start saying like i want to give up i want to let everything go and like just be myself and stop doing all this this so-called thing they call passion well keep going why because passion is the only thing that gives you purpose. It's why you live after all. Maybe your passion may be something like enjoy every moment of your life. Or maybe your passion is something like join. I'm going to be an artist. Then follow your passion. It's what gives you purpose. Right? I constantly tell myself that I'm still fighting. I'm not giving up. It is not a loss when you pass away. And we, I, we defeat death through the way we live, the reason we live, and the means that we live. Start doing what you think is right, and start doing it now, because anytime, maybe tomorrow, you're gonna get into a car crash, because then you will need to start doing it now. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.